Hello everyone. Um, I'm very excited today because today I'm going to be using my 24 hour eyeshadow magic eyeshadow primer by Ruby Kisses. And yeah, today's a great unboxing. And I'm going to do a look today. And you know how I always um, do my primer before I get on camera? Well, today um, I want you to get my first impression. So I'm going to do this now. And take this out the box. I'm excited. My first time using it. Okay. Um, use this mirror. Okay, so this is what it looks like. Comes like this. So for the applicator, I'm gonna grab my mirror and put a little bit and underneath as well. Put that back in there. And I will be spreading that out. Oh, I feel so nice. Yes, yes. Ah, I know I'm going to like this. I can tell already. I'm not going to make a review right now or anything. Because this is my first time. And I don't do that. I don't purchase something, um, swatch it, and then say it. Review. I just don't do that. You know that. Okay. That went very nicely. Very smooth very little effort so oh, I put this real high and bring it down you know how I am when I don't have my glasses on I try to get it real close to the lash line as well it doesn't dry real fast that's good I was afraid of that that it would be one of those like um L'Oreal decrease <sighs> boy does that so um, set quickly. It sets too, too quickly for me. And it's done. You just saw me apply my Ruby Kisses 24 hour what is it? <laughs> Mad 24 hour eyeshadow magic primer for the first time. Okay, for this look, I'm going to be using a Ruby Colors. Have I been saying Ruby Colors? Excuse me, my Ruby Kisses Duo, and I don't think I've done a look with this one. This is spruced up. It's spruced up, and this is what these colors look like. So watch them now. Before. This is the brown. It's a very intense chocolate brown. It doesn't swatch so intensely. I don't want a real heavy look either for today. I want a very neutral, very natural look. Okay, I guess there was that brown. And this is like a, like a golden, like an antique gold. Uh, very toned down. And again, those are the colors. And there they go swatched. Let me get a baby wipe. Can't live without my what? My loves. Love <laughs> very gentle, and for very little money, money you get a lot. Okay, so get rid of that. Okay, let's get started with this. Um, I think this time I'll start with the crease shade. Oh, excuse me. I think I will not start with the crease shade. Not until I put on my base. I'm going to use this Mosaic Physicians Formula Cream Shadows in Terracotta Mosaic. This is what it looks like. This is by Physicians Formula. I have a lot of um, neutral, natural um, cream shadow bases. Let me see. I think I'll go with I'm gonna go with this color right here. That one right there. And I have a habit. I only apply. Oh yeah, that's the perfect one. I've gotten into the habit of only applying um, cream shadows base, where you see me putting it now, on the very lower part of my mobile lid. Like where it can crease right here, I don't apply. That's how I avoid um, creasing also. 
it's not And I'm very careful to not drop it. No, I'm very careful to um, apply it on the lash line. That way I can minimize the gaps. Although I do um, go with the tips of my brush into the shadow, but still, you get a much better application if you go really close to the lash line, like so. Just make sure that the lash line is covered. So this is the shade, the cream shadow I applied to my lower mobile plates. Um, so yeah, so far this is what we have. So yeah, now we're gonna begin with applying this shade right there all over our lid, all over my lids. I'm going to put it all over my lids with this e.l.f. eyeshadow brush. So I'm pick that up. Get enough on that brush. Tap it off. And I'm going to just pat that on. Get the tips of the brush that I always do so that I can get a better application at the lash line. Remember, tapping gently at the lash line. You don't want to poke your eyes with the, with the hairs of the brush. And we will pat that on until we get something like this. Yeah, this is good. A little more time again. I like to make sure I have a nice even application. Does that look even enough? It's gonna have to do for now. Okay, so I'm gonna do the same with the other lid. Just pick up that color and begin patting. Applying just the right amount of pressure. You don't want to go too hard either. You don't want to irritate your eyes. You really don't. When you're just applying makeup, why torture yourself? <clears throat> Excuse me. I just put some on the tips of the brush so I could do the lash line. I did the other one. And there you go. And I'm satisfied with what I have here now. You know what? Let me go underneath the bone, the orbital bone. Just keep tapping like so. Hold on one second. I'm expecting a very important phone call. I'll be right back. Now you see that's why I don't. I'm sorry about that, but um, actually no. See that's why I don't um ignore the phone calls. Sometimes I do because I can see the number from here. But that was my daughter. Um, she's on her way to the hospital. I asked her if she wants me to come along, and she said no. And so, because she knows I'm a worry wart, and I'll drive her nuts. End of story. So she doesn't want me there. <laughs> but she'll be fine. She's just getting an MRI done. We're gonna run some tests on her. Make sure she, make sure she's okay. I have faith in God. She'll be fine. Um, I'm going to take this detail brush by Jerome Alexander. I'm worrying right now. Okay. And I'm going to take that dark eyeshadow, chocolatey brown. Tap it off. Did I just blow on that? <sighs> okay. I'm going to go under my lower lash line with that. And I'm going to bring it up as if I'll trying to create a cat eye like so and I want a little darker under here actually it doesn't have to be neat I kind of want it a little you know smudged out I want that effect right now pick up some more 
and, and I'm doing the outer V. And I can definitely see where I was going with it. I'll fix it later. Whatever. Little, did I just smudge? Whatever. It's okay. I'll fix any mistakes later on. <coughs> Excuse me. And I'm going to take this um, designer perfect um, crease brushes. I'm going to go in that chocolate brown again. The darker shade of the two. The really brown one. Tap that off. And I'm going to go into the inner corner with that, just to define that part right there. Just bring it and sweep it in. And I'm going to do one sheet of wiper motions and start bringing it up until I get this. bothering me. <laughs> I smudged eyeshadow right here. A little bit. Okay. So yeah. And yeah, that's the effect I want for now. And I'm going to take... Hmm. What am I going to take? I think I'll take this eyeshadow C brush by e.l.f. And... I'm gonna. I've got to throw this out at some point. The high, my favorite highlighter shade. I have it in pop form. I just have to look for it. I think it's in my train case. Well, those little tiny broken pieces. I'm gonna press my brush into it. I'm telling you, I just don't like waste, and I had an accident and dropped it. But yeah, and for me to throw something, out, especially something that I really like. Mm. You know what? I just put highlighter there before I even did the. Yeah, see? I told you I was gonna worry. It's me at my best. At my worrying best. But she's fine. She's fine. And I'm just gonna, you know, finish this tutorial. Because Sharice is fine. Everything's okay. And if I show up over there, she's going to be upset. Because I'm going to, as she says, start. Teenagers. Gotta love them. <laughs> okay. Um, I left my eyeliner in the thing. I'll be right back. That was quick. <clears throat> I got the pencil line I was going to use in this drawer. Right there. The Jordana Color Extend Eyeliner in Morning Coffee. I know I've been using this quite a bit, but I like it. It's my favorite brown eyeliner. And I'm going to tight line my upper lash line. Upper eyelash. Just tight line. Do I make the scariest faces when I do this? <laughs> We're gonna get back to that this other eye that needs attention. Okay, I'm gonna pick up that brown. Good for this eye. We're gonna go underneath the lower lash line. And I'm gonna create that outer V like we did with the other eye. Pick up very little amounts because I don't want to fall out, but I don't want to take forever. It's just real either. So. Yeah, 
that's the way I like it. Okay, I'm taking this Designer Perfect crease brush again, dipping it in that brown again, and just to define that outer V like we did over here. And bring the shadow up over the bone. And begin the windshield wiper motions. I'm not liking that little point, so I'm going to take care of that right now. This elf brush go into that Jordana Winter White. See when I do that, like that little point, I really wasn't feeling that. So what I'll do is I'll come back with the highlight color, and it kind of like erases it. it serves as like an eraser, which works out great. rubbing it out, you're blending it out. So it works out. It all works out. I want to deepen. I want to um, define the outer V a little more. And then I want to blend it into that like antique gold color in a minute. So this is what I have so far. I'm going to put on eyeliner mascara and I will be right back. See how God is good? She's on the phone. My daughter's back home. So you God is good. Just got to let go and let him, you know. This is his show. He's running. I'm back. Um, I was surprised. I did my nails. <laughs> and what I used is this Oily Won't Chip as a base and top coat. I did this so fast you wouldn't believe. And this Ruby Kisses nail polish and neon orange and this is what this looks like this is gorgeous I love neon colors when I'm tan whether it's that Caribbean blue or that green I haven't put the green on for you guys yet or the yellow or this orange I love it the hot pink that neon pink and so I can dry really fast I put on this Orly in a snap so I could dry quick okay so oh well, I did apply these on camera. Spruced up by Ruby Kisses. One of the older duos. Spruced up. And these are gorgeous neutral shades. And in the, in, um, what in the world? Tear duct. Hello. In the tear duct area. I don't know if you ladies have this um, trio in Anti Diva by NYX. But this shade right here. It's, you know, beyond beautiful. Let me swatch it for you. This is what I have. It looks like a white, right? Okay. Let me swatch it for you right now. Okay, a little bit more so you can really see it. Like a wide swatch. There you go. That's what I put in my inner tear duct. I don't know if you can see. It's like a... It looks white, right? On the pan. But swatched and on the finger. It takes on that pink, pinky, fuchsia almost tone. Okay, and the star of the show, of course, is the eyelid primer, which I almost just dropped, <laughs> by Ruby Kisses. Oh, 
going good with the ruby kisses. Okay. Um, for highlight, I use a Jordana Winter White that I managed to drop, but it's okay. Um, I tight lined and lined my upper lash line with this Jordana Color Extend pencil in morning coffee. Um, curled my lashes with the e.l.f. eyelash curler. And then I applied this e.l.f. lengthening and defining mascara in black. On my waterline though, I put on this NYX pencil in purple. Did I ever swatch this from you guys? I don't know, but I'm going to do it now. Yes, I did. Anyways, there it goes. That's in purple by NYX. Um, I used, of course, e.l.f. brushes, the um, Studio Professional. I also used um, Designer Perfect brushes. I believe that's all. All Physicians Formula Cream Shadow. And now I'm going to apply my lipstick. And I'm going to apply this Ruby Kisses Custom Design in Velvet Red. Just purchased this one, was it yesterday, day before? And I have not used it. And it's just, oh my gosh, the most to die for color. <sighs> there it goes right there. I'm not going to apply it straight off the tube. Today I'm going to use my Prestige Lip Liner. The last time I used a lip liner was by Designer Perfect. I'm just going to grab this lipstick with the brush. This side. Should have grabbed enough, huh? Don't be delicate with it, Rose. Just grab it, honey. Don't be afraid of it. <laughs> Now we're talking. Mm. See, the majority of the time I do like to apply with a lip brush. I don't know, to me it gives me a more precise application. I don't know if it's just me. So beautiful. Ruby Kisses is wow. But they've always been a good brand to me. I know a lot of you ladies are just discovering it. But since I always loved buying my makeup, mostly from the beauty supply store. Trust me, Ruby Kisses is not a brand new brand. It's not a new company or anything like that. On that brown from the duo, the Ruby Kisses duo, I used to smudge it out underneath my lower lash line. My lash line, not on my lash line. I'm underneath the lower lash line. Okay, I will apply it out the two. I got this thing for lipsticks. You don't know. And nail polish. It's crazy. This is it. Ruby Kisses custom design in velvet red. Velvet red? Yes, velvet red. Gorgeous, gorgeous is what it is. So, this is my look. I hope you ladies like it. Um, this is it for now. And goes the nails and the look. I know the nails don't match the look. 
I wasn't going for matchy matchy, not today. I wanted to get with, um, a couple of pops of color here and there, like from the lipstick and the nails. I, I got sandstone from Jordana on my toes. <laughs> you know, I'm not looking for matchy matchy. It's okay though. So yeah, if you can and you see this NYX um, trio and Anti Diva, get it. If all the all three shades are gorgeous, but if just for this one, oh my goodness. So yeah, I popped that in my tear duct. <laughs> so yeah, this is it for now. Like I said, this is the star of the show. The eyelid primer, eyeshadow primer by Ruby Kisses. Thank you for watching. Stay blessed and beautiful and ciao.